In this first example, what you guys see is I have y equals x squared times square root of 2x minus 3. All right? Now, I first look at this. That's an x squared. That's a quadratic, right? Does that have any? That's a continuous function all, all the right, right? There's nothing wrong with that. So I don't really care about this right now. Because the only thing that I'm concerned about is what's under the radical. Because I know when I'm trying to find the domain and I see something under a radical, I know that it is defined for only certain amount of numbers, right? Only certain amount of numbers that are going to make that radicand positive. So what you're going to want to do is set the radicand greater than or equal to 0. The radicand is what's under the radical. 2x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. The domain is defined for all values when that is positive. And now it's just solving. x is greater than x over 3 halves. Now, you don't need to do a, draw, a graphing line. But could you guys graph this? Yeah, greater than or equal to. OK. Now, I will ask you to identify the domain. And can we, can we write the domain in interval notation from this line now? Yes. It's basically just going to be 3 halves comma infinity. Questions? No. OK. So that's, that's when you have a radical. 